Next tonight, a new scheme is being piloted in Yorkshire to tackle school exclusions. In recent years, Yorkshire has seen some of the highest rates for fixed-term exclusions. Now, a charity is looking to give teachers specialist training so they can work better with vulnerable children, as Luxme Gopal reports. AJ didn't have the easiest time at school. Back then, I was a bit loud, a bit argumentative, anger all over the place, stuff like that. I lost my nana at the age of 13 years old. She was one of the closest people to me and I was going through that all where I did the funeral, everything, and I was still going to school and people didn't understand why I was the way I was. AJ says he got into trouble when he started retaliating physically to his classmates' verbal and sometimes racist abuse. He ended up getting excluded. It hurts your heart, not going to lie, to be told that you're not allowed to come into school you, you ne or, when you, or when you get told you're not allowed back in school ever again. It's like, wow, there's worse more people out there than me. His school sent him to MAP, a Leeds charity that provides alternative education. No formal classroom setting. Instead, tutors work with small groups on subjects like music and art. AJ thrived. I had to get excluded from school to be able to find somewhere like this. Like, why couldn't you see that I'm, you know, he's a good student, but he's just got his problems and making him come down here after he's been excluded from school. Why didn't you send me there in the first place to give me help? Schools can also send excluded children to pupil referral units. This one is run by Rotherham Aspire, which has around 140 pupils across its sites. We've got a sensory room in here um, where children come to calm down. So you can see there's different mood lighting. It's padded. This site for primary school children is set up with safe spaces. If they're feeling a bit overwhelmed by what's going on in the classroom, they can take themselves into this space. They can have some time out. The staff training is often facilitated by experts in the field of mental health. I don't think you can ever underestimate the shock and the trauma from a child's perspective when they are excluded from a mainstream school. You know, they're taken away from the community and that can be tough to rebuild the confidence for them. Now Yorkshire's been chosen for a new scheme by a charity recruiting teachers for placements in pupil referral units to gain skills to help reduce exclusions. No teacher goes into education wanting to exclude pupils but over the last few years we've seen more and more children being excluded um, and Yorkshire is one region where we've seen particularly high fixed term exclusion. What the difference is trying to do is get more people to really focus on those vulnerable learners and then take that expertise back to mainstream to help young people like AJ before they hit crisis point so that our schools are just better equipped to deal with pupils mental health. The difference made by better support is clear in AJ, who now, aged 17, wants to return to MAP as a volunteer. I want to teach kids that was exactly like me, you've got it right there, but you don't know yet. Luxmi Gopal, BBC Look North.